Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog. I will do a daily vlog, I think. Not sure yet, but I start this on a Wednesday, so I can't really call it a weekly vlog, can I? But before I'm gonna fix my face because I look like death as always, um, I'm gonna go put some laundry on. So today is kind of a chores day. Um, so I did laundry, I'm still waiting for it to finish. Uh, one thing that really annoys me about living on campus is that laundry costs £2.20 and it's only washing for half an hour, which basically means that it hardly gets clean well. Um, so that's quite annoying, but okay. Um, so laundry, then I have to tidy my room because if you can see in the background, little tip and we're going into town oh before going into town actually I need to go to the doctors because I need to make an appointment for my smear test I'm 22 and I've never had my smear test done so it's about time I do it so um yeah I'm gonna make my appointment today then after that we're going into town to do uni work now this is the second week of uni and even though I'm not really behind on things, I don't feel like I'm on top of things either. So I just want to kind of... So Monday I got an email of who my um, dissertation supervisor is. I need to organise a meeting with him and um, I have no clue what my dissertation will be about. So I need to think about that as well. I have so much paperwork I still need to organise from last semester. It's so, so bad. Um, but I'll do that some other time because no one's got time for that. Um, but I finished my second reading and um, yes, it's quite interesting. It's corpus linguistics. I think I've said that already, but um, yeah, don't like I'm not very good at explaining what it is yet um, because last week is the first time I've ever heard of it. <laughs> Um, so, like, I have had other modules on linguistics, like, uh, social linguistics, psycholinguistics, and things like that, so, um, and one module on the history of the English language as well. Um, but I can't manage to do the other two readings I had to do, which is a bit of a shame, but, I mean, I tried, didn't I, so... Um, as of as of terms of this vlog, I will vlog tomorrow, and maybe on Friday as well. So this will become like kind of a weekly vlog. I'm sorry that I didn't vlog um, Monday and Tuesday because basically Bo came back and I just had to like kind of re find myself. <laughs> that sounds so dramatic. Vlogging wise. I will do tomorrow and probably on Friday because on Friday I have my smear test so I'll report back on how that went um, and you know I think it's important to discuss because it is something that's important to people. Oh update on my um, hypertrophic scars on my earrings on my piercings. Um, 
the sea salt soaks, they're, they were helping a tiny, tiny little bit, but I didn't see like any major results. So I added the use of tea tree oil to it, um, and tea tree oil is like a natural antiseptic, I think. Um, and so I've been putting that in my little soaks and on it like undiluted as well and it seems to be working so fingers crossed that when I hit my like three month mark everything will be alright and I can finally change my earrings out because I'm so done with these and I have really pretty new ones from Anna Nina uh, which is a Dutch brand, for ones that don't know, but they make such lovely, lovely earrings and other, like, jewellery. It's all, like, real silver and, um, real gold-plated things, which is good to put in your ears, basically, and it will last a long time. Also, a little fun fact, um, I'm starting a new, like, fitness routine this week. I won't start it with it, and um, I will. I can do a separate video on it as if you want to, if you want to know what I do fitness wise. Um, because, yeah, I would like to make a video on that. So if you want to see it, just let me know in the comments and I'll share that with you. Don't always move as bad. Sort of do that. And also, are you a vampire? Because if you're not, I could. Uh... So I've just finished um, the first episode, this is the start of episode 2, um, but I'm going to leave it for this night because it's already 11 o'clock and yeah I didn't sleep too well last night so I'm going to go to bed now and yeah, um, as I said I'll go on tomorrow so um, see you then. Will this actually be a sunny day? Fingers crossed it will. So we just came back from class and we had something to eat and I will make some before shots of Bo and um, let's see if we can find what she would like because she now has like hair reaching to her belly button I think. So this is the example and it's probably going to be a bit longer than this um, but yeah so her hair is like down here somewhere now and it's probably going to be up here I'm guessing. So it's quite a change and both had her hair long for ever. No, I only know her with long hair. So it's quite cool that she takes the jump to actually get her hair, so we'll see. Quickly 
bad bite to eat and now it's off to boxer size. I just came back from boxer size and I'm so dead. Like, uh, it's so good but also so like exhausting. My arm. I'm so unfit. But this is why I'm doing this because it's not that I'm not like it's not to lose weight, it's to get strong and to get fit. Tomorrow, exciting day at 9.40, I am going to the doctors to get my smear test, but more on that tomorrow. See ya. Good morning everyone, today's Friday and I have my smear test today. Um, I am running a slight bit late, so um, I will tell you more about what it is and all of that in a bit because I'm going to get dressed, I'm not going to put makeup on or do my hair because I'm going to go across the street and come back and work on uni all day so no need to get ready so put some clothes on, have some food and go to the doctors. So I just got back um, so at my appointment at 9.40 and it's now 10 o'clock I'm already back home. Now the doctors is across the street so travelling wise it doesn't take me very long but um, the procedure itself so it is to check if there's any cancer cells on your cervix or around that area um, so it is very important. The procedure itself it's not comfortable, so I've got a very lovely lady that did it, it was really nice and um, so yeah, she asked me some questions, so she asked me when what my last period was, what pill I took and if it was my first uh, smear test. It's not comfortable, so I'm not going to tell you, like for some it might be fine, but for me it wasn't comfortable at all, um, but it takes a few seconds and it's done, so um, yeah, there's nothing to worry about basically. You, you go to check if you're like, fine and healthy, but the fact that it can come back negative, like that you do, that there are cells that look abnormal, that scares the heck out of me. <laughs> I know it's good to know if it is, but This has been the longest edit. It's probably my longest video ever as well. So it's my first attempt of a weekly vlog. And I know weekly vlogs often turn out to be very, very long. And you have to let me know what you guys like to see because I don't mind making long videos. I just don't quite know if they will be entertaining for you guys. So I'm almost finished and it's about 20 minutes long but I need to import two more clips, so it will be, I think maybe 25 max, which is so, so long. Um, like, I don't mind watching them myself, like from others, but am I that interesting? I don't know. It's Saturday morning and I'm off for my next workout of the week. And we watch Vampire Diaries until half 12 and it's now, it's now 9am, which is not too bad, but I want to sleep. So I just got back and I have a question for you guys. Um, if you know what the best hair tie is, because I have quite a lot of hair and all of my hair ties, like I now have hair, a hair tie in with the little rubber, like it has a little rubber band through it, so I would think that that would like put some grip on my hair but apparently it doesn't so if anyone has any recommendations of hair ties that stay in leave it down below so after working the on schoolwork all day, I'm now going to have some fun. I'm going for drinks. Good morning everyone. Last night was so much fun. I didn't really take off my mascara though, which is not good. Um, however, 
like I was looking at my piercings and um, it's working quite well so I might make a video on what I'm doing exactly um, if you have hypertrophic scarring as well yeah I'm so hungry now so I'm have some food and then maybe edit a video and then work on uni stuff again um, I'm almost like caught up on what I need to do so I'm almost like on top of things because now I'm like I'm not as I said I'm not behind I'm just not on top of it so I feel like if I leave it for a day I will get behind so yeah I will work yes so my plan for today hasn't really worked out I did edit videos um, but I haven't really done a lot for uni what I have done as well is ordered my tripod my like mini tripod and a stabilizer as well so hopefully I can make some fun videos so I think I'm gonna leave this video here because I don't think I'm gonna do a lot else today for my next vlog I do have a fun idea I'm gonna add in and hopefully that works out because I think it's quite funny and quite relatable so hopefully I can make that work is that boy coming back? No. She won't be coming back. Or someone else. Um, but yeah, I will see you in my next one.